not like the way we are fighting corruption. As we are fighting corruption, we are fighting, we are fighting people more corrupt. More corrupt. I'm sure you all heard about uh, the 18 billion. Yes. Yeah. 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 You see, I'm starting with 80 billion naira. They said now 174 billion for one man. In a country that millions are suffering, they cannot even feed, they can't, they, they can't feed themselves. So what kind of... You see, this issue, when I think up and down, and I cannot find a solution, I just say, Allah, you are the Mokwadi Guru. Whatever is in the heart of this Nigerian, go Allah, take it away. Uh, Expose it from their heart and let them concentrate on improving the laws of Nigerians. Because look at it, it's a serious issue. So, these are, these words that we have just read, seven part of it, we are not allowed to say, describe what is corruption. قل إنما حرم ربي الفواحش ما ظهر من أعمى بطن. After that, Allah does not say that if you work for your money and you have your halal money, even if you have a billion, it's up to you. Conform with the laws of Almighty Allah and spend your money. Yet, even when you have several billions, you know Islam says that you have to spend it. Is that you? Is it you can enjoy your money? Enjoy your money. If you can buy it, pray for yourself, be careful for yourself, go ahead and buy it. Enjoy your money, but there are certain things you have to do. Eh? Don't forget those who the less privileged. Don't forget them. Don't forget that you have to pay Zakat. Eh? Zakat is, is also an institution that, that fight that helps to fight corruption. Now, so in that in that wise. Even in that verse, I think the first part of that one, Almighty Allah explained to us that we are free to enjoy the mercy of Allah through our money for whatever Almighty Allah has given you. And, and that verse is verse 32, where Almighty Allah says, Kul man haram al zinat al Allah says, He has not forbidden us from enjoying what we have earned legitimately. So you can enjoy whatever you have earned. But you know there are, there are rules that you have to follow. You can spend your money the way you like it. Build a castle, buy this, buy that, but do what will please your mighty Allah. And of course, in the, in the, in the process of doing it, Almighty Allah also wants, wants us in Surah Al-Araf, verse, uh, verse 30, that Ya Bani Adam, Fudu zina takum in the kulim masjidim, wa kulu wa shrabu, wa la tusrifu. Do not spend extravagantly. We all know what we are all scholars, we know what spending extravagantly means. Do not use your money to dazzle others. Do not, do not use your money to do what is do buy or do what is not of any use to you. And also you know who now you can put most of it. Almighty Allah says he does not he does not like those who spend extravagantly. And also in Surah to the Slides, all these are in this book that we are reading, and I just summarize some of the important things that we can discuss. Uh, in Surah to the Slides, also Almighty Allah says, uh, that's I think verse 7. <laughs> From your money that you have, I to what is the money 
you have on that other says that those who are close to you give them their rights. While you see and the poor give them from what you are, what, what you have. And in fact, even this verse, we can draw this verse, we can extend it to cover our leadership and the lead. Because this money that they are spending, they are Nigerian resources. They are Nigerian resources. And eh? look at the case of those people in the Niger Delta in those days. Where the, the state that is making the money from Nigeria, all this money, the oil money that was spending, is coming from that area. And look at their condition at that time. So whoever is in, whoever is in charge of Nigerian resources, it is important to do what? To give us our heart, our rights. It is our right. You would look at other developed countries. They have what they give to their citizens as of right. Eh? I have my I have some of my children in the UK. The first time when they were there, you know, once they are pregnant, the state comes to help them. First of all, they go to hospital free. And even if they have to pay money, they pay pittance. And when they deliver their pregnancy, they continue to look after that children. They will go to the house to take baby food, baby medicine, send nurses, send midwife, occasion periodically, maybe every two weeks, to go and take the children. Free of that. In their houses, yes. I'm talking of what I have seen. God, I was there at that time, and I saw this thing coming on the time. What are they coming to do? They are their government midwives, government nurses. What are they doing? How much are you paying them? If they have to do it, they have to see it. This is child. Yeah, yeah. They will check the child, test it. If there is any problem, they take, take her back. They do all this thing free because it's the right of the citizens. Artis and Kumba. Artis and Kumba. And of course, the man, the, the, the corruption uh, issue that uh, God lead, is, that is the only one we know. That is the only one we know. If you talk to people who know everything, you will be shocked. Like, you know, there are things you cannot be talking in the public, saying in the public, except the one that has lived like that. What is that? What, what, is, what is the going on? Year, year in, year out. Not just now, it's been started. Look at, I remember in, uh, in those days when things start, started to lose time, when uh, Denana Babanida was there, he would come on the television and promise us. He promised, 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 no fulfillment. He went away. Who came after him? What is about that? Shonai Khan. Shonai after him. Of course, Shonai Khan couldn't, couldn't do much. After Shonai Khan, we had Abacha. Abacha also couldn't do much. After Salam came, he also couldn't do much. But they were promising you. After Salam came, in fact, if, if you remember, because electricity was a major challenge to Nigeria, and it still is up to date. Because without electricity, many things are not wrong. A passenger promised that we should give him, that Nigeria should give him six months. After six months, the problem of electricity will be a thing of the past. Since that time, the problem is compounding every day. So it has been like it's been, been like that. What is happening? Yeah. When Chagari was there, when President Chagari was there, I'm sure you all remember what happened that time. What happened that time was that Ghana was in shambles and Ghanaians were trooping to Nigeria. They were coming to in large numbers. You see, Ghana are very, very, they are coming making all our breaks. Wherever they are going to go to the Ghanaians will find there. Isn't it? Yes. yes. If you know that, that was what was happening. They were everywhere. 
But later, they say, ah, this is they are taking all our jobs. Then there was Ghana of go. The Ghana of go creatures came up and we sent them away. Eh? Ghana got their acts together and of course today Ghana is far better in terms of infrastructure, electricity, better than Nigeria. You know, few years after that, three, four, five years after we, we, we chased them away, the Minister of Power, I read this in the newspaper, the Ghanaian Minister of Power was making tests of Nigeria directly. What did he say? He said Nigeria should come and hire him to provide the electricity. <laughs> he said it in the paper, I read it. I don't know whether or not any other public can read it. That was that was making jet that look, look at these people, they cannot get their acts together. You see, corruption is still in Nigeria. <coughs> Where is the national shipping lines? We used to have ships that were running other countries. Where is Nigeria Airways? If I did not even see all that, I saw Nigeria Airways. Nigeria Airways. Because I was serving inside Saudi Arabia there, in the embassy there. I was born in Nigeria, we had 747. These are the biggest plane in that time. Many of them, they were flying other London, Jeddah, America, things like that. But if you know what was happening, you will know that they were going to, they were going to swallow Nigeria Airways. Nigeria Railway also the same thing. It is corruption that has been dealing with Nigeria since that time. And of course, instead of this thing getting a better, it's, get, it's, 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 it's increasing. So we have a lot of work to do, really. And of course, it's a lot of work. Because those that are making money out of this corruption, they will not give it easily. But we, as scholars, it is a challenge to us to keep talking and inshallah, Allah will uh, make it easy for us.